Hey, you guys, look who's back. Uh, which is very weird. Um, would it be cool if there's like a ghost running around in the background or something? Or if you guys saw a weird monster in the corner somewhere? Oh, sorry about that. I was uh, watching myself. Watching myself. Anyways, hello. I'm back, I guess. Um, I apologize for the long delay. There's been like two of you that were seemingly worried about these video blogs and the lack of video bloggies. Video blogs. Um, I've been busy, you know? I'm, uh, I'm unemployed, so I'm doing a lot of stuff. Got a lot of creative endeavors going on. Got multiple chins. Um, I was in Austin, Texas for a week. Um, partying hardy with some, uh, some homies. And, uh, but now I'm back in the Seattle metropolitan area. Um, to party hardy with you guys. Um, what to talk about. Look at this. Oh, oof. Looking good. Um, it's good to be home. It was in the hundreds there in uh, Texas. I don't know if any of you guys are from Texas, but if you are, it's pretty hot. I'm not from there. It's not that hot here. Um, I'm listening to some good music down there. Some rockabilly, some uh, blues. Some other whatnot and who's he hoes. Let's just get to it, guys, shall we? There's questions that were asked of me um, on YouTube. I don't remember the questions that were asked of me on Facebook. That was a long time ago. So let's answer some of these some of these YouTube questions. I'm gonna place myself down there so I can just look up and read. Okay, so Alex Twitchell, he's a huge fan of mine, um, he wrote a question, and he wants to know, what are the key components to a good love song to write for your GF? Um, GF could mean gluten-free, could mean girlfriend, could mean uh, gilded French toast. I don't know why he would have dropped out the T. I don't understand. Anyways, key components to a good love song to write for your girlfriend is what I'm assuming he's going to ask. Though, I don't know, Alex Twitchell, girlfriend, makes no sense to me. Sorry, Alex Twitchell. Anywho, when I write a beautiful love song for a girl and a friend, I like to have ma several components, several main components. First of all, a woman should always know how you feel about her. I mean, you have to be honest. You know, some of these rap artists out there, they have songs where they say, hey, I want to stick my magic stick into your uh, lollipop crevices or something like that. I think that's, that's one rap song that I've heard. But it's all about honesty. I'm sure that guy got the girl that he was looking for. Um, so you just have to be honest. Um, tell her how you feel. Um, and you just have to know how to play um, a G uh, and a C, G and a C major chord. Let me, hold on. Oh, hello. I've been known to, to uh, be able to play guitar somewhat. I haven't picked up my guitar in a while. So the only uh, chords that really matter are a C major and a G major, maybe a D major, and I don't really care for it. I'm playing a C chord, now it's a G chord, it's back down to a C chord, back up to a G chord. Oh. Alex Twitchell, when you write a song for your girlfriend, make sure that you're honest and you tell her that you want.
wanna stick your lollipop into all of her crevices. What's the next question? Jordan, what is the best tactic that you feel is best for getting the ladies? The ladies spell with a Z at the end. That's a really good question. I know that you gotta just bust stop me. And the ladies, they will be all over you Like a douchebag is all over Ed Hardy And ultimate fighting championship matches Yeah 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 Thank you guys. I'm back. You can take that to the bank. And since you guys love this,